Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of All Things IDA. In this episode, we're going to show you how to query segments, retrieve information, enumerate them, and so on. Let's get started. So all uh, um, functionality is related to segment, or the majority of those are in uh, segments.hpp header file. <coughs> and uh, for uh, just to keep this uh, video short and concise, we're going to pick uh, some basic information to get us started. So a segment extends from range. When we mentioned functions, functions also extend from range. So that means a segment has a start and end, uh, and end. So start and end by default. So whenever we have a segment object, we can access the start EA and end EA. It has a name uh, index, so that's not the name, but uh, it's internally used to help us retrieve the name. So here we can say get seg um, underscore name, for example. The segment class as well, different story. It's not the class name, but we can get the class name. The alignment of the segment and the bitness as well and a permission so we have permissions execute read write for example is this 16-bit segment 32-bit segment 64-bit segment so we can look at the bitness uh, bitness value and the helper methods so you can check if it's uh, basic based on the flags so we have segment flags all right not much Yes, uh, hidden, debug segment, loader segment, and these we will see in the UI. So when uh, when I press Alt S to edit a segment, we can see the permission, we can see the bitness. Uh, we don't see directly the flags from here. Let me see alignment and so on. But uh, if I open the segments window. We can see like loader or debug and so on. These are coming from the flags. So let's see what else. It's temporary is uh, visible and the, the helper methods. <coughs> so this is for a segment object. Now let's take a look at uh, enumer enumerating segments. So we have get segment. We have for example get first segment gives us the first segment object so let me test this out here if I uh, keep the segments uh, window as well visible open the snippets window and we can see ada api dot get first seg and we get the segment object if we have a segment or none so if we have a segment seg start s dot start ea and s dot end ea and uh, here we have the segment start and end and so on so we we can basically walk segments we can uh, as well uh, get the segment uh, index given an address and also we have a get segmented we give it any address in the database any segments and then we get the segment so as well let me try get seg <coughs> so the same way we have like if we have an ea and we say either api or get func we give it an ea it gives us a function uh, object so we give it any address in the function we get the function object similarly for segments get seg at api dot get screen ea and we can display for example the segment attributes or the segment start and end whatever we choose here seg ends and okay so we put the segment uh, ea somewhere here in this segment run it Sorry, get seg result underscore. And here we got the segment beginning and segment end. Let's navigate to another segment. For example, our dot data. 
anywhere here we read on the script we get the segment information so here we get the segment quantity from the quantity we then get the segment object by index from the quantity and that's basically how IDA Python enumerates uh, segments through the IDA utils so if we want to use IDA utils it hides this loop for us so it gets the segment quantity gets a segment by index and simply returns the segment start from the segment starts or any address within a segment we can get back the segment object so if we want to enumerate uh, all segment starts we can say for s in or uh, seg start in uh, either you did the segments we can just say uh, seg start and we can say for now let's just keep like this we'll see how we can retrieve the name so this should give us all the segment starts let's also clear the screen and run this one format it so these are all the segment starts <coughs> through uh, either it is the segments so that's basically behind the scenes really calling get seg m so get seg from an address get n seg by index or we can simply advance given any a give me the next one give me the next one get first get last uh, we can also re resolve a segment by name so let's see by name and here we can say either the I dot get seg by name let's say our data if we have the segment also let's just display some information about the segment let's see run it so we did indeed resolve dot our data and it gave us uh, its segment by name what else uh, let's get the segment name itself so get seg m name get segment name as we got used to it in either python it's this gonna be mapped to a return uh, return value we pass a segment object and the flag let's see but let's double check how this will be uh, implemented in either python so so indeed it does uh, map the output argument into a return value it, it does need a segment uh, Object. So let's go back to the enumeration here. Let's call this enum segs. From the enum segs, let's uh, now get the segment object s equal API dot get seg seg start. So we're resolving, we're getting a segment by any address. The address we're passing is the segment start. Now we're gonna display the name as well. Let's just get the name. Now we shouldn't be failing here, so no need to check if the segment is gonna be okay or not. We will not fail. All right. So for that, let's gonna display the name, and uh, we just have to give it the segment object and the flags. Uh, so flags. Let's see what uh, flags we can have. So zero retain the name as is or some bad symbols with uh, underscore all right so let's keep it zero and let's see the name so we have sex start and here we have all the names nicely displayed and so on uh, what else uh, really it's a small header file if you notice there's a segment object itself and a bunch of methods uh, include including methods to add segments and uh, and so on create segment give it a paragraph segment based on paragraphs uh, we can delete the segment given any addresses in a segment and how to delete it those attributes those flags map to the segment deletion like disable addresses for example we should see here like segment kill completely and so on uh, let's see what else move a segment resolve a segment by name as we said enumerate is mini IDB so this is basically uh, existing segments but it doesn't have to be checks if uh, it's a quick database basically created by the 
we started like by running directly into the debugger for example with no initial database so yeah these are the most important things uh, for segments uh, <clears throat> great so I hope you enjoyed this short video about segments uh, hopefully this will be useful for future uh, episodes thank you and see you next time